These guys get absolutely blasted. I'm hoping all of the chests are in one room. <laughs> Nightmare. Wow, interesting. Snort is one of those enemies. Man, I hate moves like Snort. Ugh, we're lucky there. Okay, 2, 4, 5 is an instant kill. That's good. 192, not enough though. Ah, uh, Quake is always a bit. I just want to try that one again. Just out of curiosity. Let's try those. There you go. Snort actually worked. Oh, it does darkness. It doesn't eject you from the fight. Interesting. Fine. Okay, I'm not as worried anymore. At least we saved the Invisera. But darkness stays, right? It doesn't know yet. Okay. It's been a long time since I got hit with it. Ooh. Alright. And there's a mummy walking around as well. Damn. Yeah, these encounters are always like, there's a lot of them. Very multicolored encounter here. Um. Alright, let's go big with uh, Vivi. I shouldn't have used Fyra. Fyraga. They have such low HP that it might still get the job done here, but that was not ideal. Yeah, no petrification, we really got away with that. Yeah, this was not the right move, but... It's good enough, yeah, because they had such low HP. Gold Needle, that's a good find. I have been waiting. Take this cube. Tiamat. Flying Fortress. Please. Okay. You obtained the warp cube. There wasn't even any mention of that one. Damn. Buzzwer. Okay. Wizard Staff. Let's go. What? I think, again, we need to change jobs or something to wield this shit. Ribbon? What is going on? Yeah, we're getting lots of high-level shit here. Oh, it's a helm. Guards against elemental attacks and a status effect. Well, three guesses who can equip that. <laughs> oh. They can all equip it. The white mage can have it then. Okay, so that's two very good chests so far. Defender, that's a weapon usually, no? What is it? Yeah, a sword that casts blink when used. That's pretty cool. That means that it's so again, it must be a job thing slash level thing. We just don't have the the level to use it. Fine. Good sign for the future, though. Okay. Good stuff. As we push into hour number 10. But we've had a good run of it so far. At least we At least the ribbon is usable. That's a good sign. It's not a huge area, I think, and, well, part of the story to get out of here, so I don't mind making my way out. Okay, it's pretty aggressive here. These VVs over 300 HP. We're getting a decent chunk of gil from these guys as well, and you're seeing how expensive those spells are, so I gotta keep making sure 
and make that dough. You can see the MP is really getting me through now. It's just at the very start of these games, like the MP requirements to get through, like in a relatively easy way, they're pretty much the same as what they are now, but obviously you just don't have that MP. So it definitely just, just gets so much easier. I think Blizzara should do the trick. And we generally seem to have pretty decent status resistance as well. Like, we've been here with, like, one darkness. Other than that, it's been nothing else in this cave. I think that's the wrong way. Yeah, these guys surprised me a lot. I thought I was going to be doing, like, 10 damage with uh, my physical hitters. But <laughs> even a black mage doing 130. I don't think they've had an attack yet. Useless. So at least we didn't have to waste the fire. So so the king mummies can just about survive the Diara. Right, level 34. Not much of an increase, but at least strength went up. Yay, Lot got some HP, finally. And some strength. Okay, that was a good boost. Intellect going up. We'll take that. I do like this track. Okay, can we finally see it use an attack? Okay, good stuff, buddy. Excellent work. Get out of here. Embarrassing. Alright, good stuff. So... Cube made of a multi-hued substance. So, floating fortress, tier map. Uh, Rosetta Stone, Sunken Shrines, it's a lot to find, Submarines, just a lot going on. I kind of want to see how much a Heal Arca does. Um, we'll do a Thunder Arca. Of course they all get the moves in first. Die. Yes. Go, Vivi, with the level up and some HP and some intellect. Look at that. Vivi is rolling. But I don't remember any mention of that cube going on. The floating fortress. So Tiamat has been represented in some kind of way. In the very first Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's interesting, Tiamat always appears in different forms. It's It can be a Sky Fortress, it can be a, a boss name. I think those are the two most kind of common. It's most commonly, obviously, a boss, but still. Um, 81,000. So I think I'm going to just keep moving here. I want to get back to my ship. Wow, three worms. That's a bit aggressive. Um, I'm still going to try something like Thundar and see what that does to him. So 229 wasn't enough there. Pretty good damage. There you go. Right. 
so we have a sunken shrine, but we have a submarine that can't get there. Because it runs out of air. And then we had the oxy ale stuff. So I think at this stage I do want to head back here and just have another look at what's going on. Because I think some of the stuff is connected to this town. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought the game crashed for a second. I was worried. <laughs> was that the warp cube? Right, they say a special water called Oxy Gushes in the bottom of us. We only fairies can draw it out. Yes, so now we need to go here. Yeah, we are heading to the skies, my friends. Not quite yet, but we will get there. But first, we need to get to the fairies. How is. Does... There it was. Okay. Yeah, this place is huge. At this bro. Yep. So we now know that the, the genius guy we're going to have to find again. <laughs> so I think we basically released the fairy. I think that's what we did. There we go. You're the ones who rescued me from that bottle. I'm sorry about running away, but I was just so scared. I'll get you some oxy ale from the bottom of the spring to make up for it, okay? There we go. Get me that oxy. Yeah. Oxy ale. Air will flow out of that water for as long as you have it. Superb. Thank you very much. Cool. So, from the very first Final Fantasy game that was ever made, you have this nice world that you can explore. You have multiple methods of transport. You've got your ships, you've got your airships, you've got your canoes. You have potential travel up into the clouds, into the skies. There might be like settlements, fortresses, all that stuff in the skies. We have underwater bits. And so, that type of stuff is just so Final Fantasy. It really is. And I really think a lot of the earlier games did that so well. Just excellent stuff. So, speaking of excellent stuff. Do we have... Yeah, I'd say we've got enough. I think we can just move it straight along here. I want to head back, basically, and start to go towards that submarine. So things are collect connecting up nicely here between these two towns. It is a little bit annoying that you can't get close. <laughs> but hey, they've got to keep the they've got to keep that runtime going. Let's head east. Very curious about this guy's situation. I assume it's something to do with once we're done with maybe the tier map bit or something. Okay. Here we go. You you have oxy ale. You are the ones we've been waiting for. Please, save the mermaids! Uh, wow, okay. Spooky. You want to get in the barrel, <laughs> okay. 
we all live in a barrel submarine. Wow, that's cool. So I guess it doesn't allow you to explore the world underwater, which that's what I thought we were going to do. Because you know, it's like you can stay underwater as long as you like. I thought that's what was going to happen. But still, it's all good. Okay. Let's begin. This is going to be a pretty significant location. We've got mermaids to save. We've got, like, Rosetta Stone stuff to find. But if it's a sun sunken shrine, then I guess having the weapon that helps against aquatic enemies would probably be good. Let me... So I'll deliberately take the hit here and see if it helps. And we have fire and ice protection. And we have a ribbon. And we have instant death protection too. So I'm going to explore as much of this place as I can. I want to do the quick... Um, 32. Okay, yeah. This is this is significant. Um, I want to start checking out the damage here. We've got scorpions back. I was talking about poison. I think poison's going to find you make a reappearance here. Aquatic enemies, but I think the fact it does more damage against them is kind of negated by how much less attack and accuracy it has. We'll stick with it for a little bit, but I don't think it's going to serve me as well. Alright, let's have a look. Everyone else just defend here. Wow, it survived the 336. Yeah, see what I mean? Again, it's just like, no. <laughs> Let's just stick with this. Okay, first chest. 2,000 gil. We're off to the races. It's going to take a lot of exploring. We might be in here for like an hour. But I guess this is going to be the third crystal, right? I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. And it survived the 348. Yeah, things are ramping up a little bit. Thankfully, I came in with 99 high potions, so that should help a little. And uh, we've got empty rooms as well. Brilliant. I think in general, I'll probably maintain my style of kind of freestyling how much I want to explore, but maybe not absolutely prioritizing getting every single chest first time round, and then just kind of dipping back in when I'm ready, uh, once I'm done with the shrine itself. So we'll see. Sahagin Prince. It's a shame I don't have a Thundara, that would have been nice. I think we're just about keeping up here. Are these? Yeah. Um, I don't want to go to the next floor just yet. We've only had one chest. It feels a bit unlikely, but it's just that. Good damage. Wow. Holy shit. These are empty as well. I'm hoping that out of the 32 chests again we get like the one more ruby armlet for example that saves us 40k. That'd be nice. So we have another, we have a way down. Not yet. I swear that other staircase was up. Yeah, things are getting a little dangerous here. We need to be careful. 
I want to see how likely Confuse is to work. Well, thankfully, 251 is enough. That's a good sign. Yeah, heal are basically the same as it was ages ago. Maybe like 5% better. At best. But yeah, this is one of those where the White Mage is not going to be able to contribute very much in this dungeon. Other than obviously the healing. Holy. Okay. Actually. Get these guys to attack the prince. <laughs> this, is, this is a ridiculous encounter. Um. I think if ever an encounter needed a Thundaga, it's probably this one. And he gets the first move. <laughs> Absolutely cooked them. Okay. Alright, I think we can go all out attack on this one. Speed it up. Yeah, especially on a preemptive. Yeah, I think basically whenever I finish exploring a floor, then I'm just going to do this. That's fine. But yeah, I think those stairs go up. That's why I kind of want to try that one first. That's where I'm going to go. Okay, I think more of the same. Still no sign of any poison or anything. The scorpions were absolutely destroying us when we were in the, the marsh cave. But so far we're holding up very well. Okay. Definitely take these brims of strikes. So, go in here. Have a look at the situation. I think again, because of the the textures and stuff they use, sometimes you can miss a chest that you assume is just part of the wall. But I think that's everything on this floor. So let's go up here. Nice HP boost there. Nothing for Locke, but he does get some strength. We'll always take that. Not bad. Deep eyes. Um, what can we do that might be troublesome for them? Let's just try a fire anyway. We're not going to use it for much else. Fine. <laughs> Level up. Oh, at least we've got the big HP boost. We'll take that. We will most definitely take that. He's he's going to catch up Locke at this rate. Locke could end up being the lowest HP character in the party. <laughs> Do another heal aura. Yeah, we're starting to get up over 400 damage more regularly now. Yeah, didn't expect too much from fire anyway. 530, wow. Ooh. 
It's another one you can't wear, right? Yeah, increasingly finding things we just can't use. Guards against lightning. Yeah, nothing I can do. Fine. I think instead of using fire, he just might as well attack normally. Of course, this time it wasn't enough from Locke. That good old damage variation, he did 500 and something to the other one. But... They like their sharks here. But they don't have, again, they don't really have any status effects, anything, so an attack that hits the entire party, so I'm not too worried about him. But I think the fourth floor is the highest one. Light Axe. Effective against the undead. Cast Diara when used. So this is a way to basically get these guys to have a little bit of spells if they need it. Which is pretty cool. And it doesn't cost MP. So that's kind of cool. Let's just use an axe for a little bit. But there's no, there's no undead in here. So it's kind of pointless. But I'll try to bear that in mind. Good job, mages. They're just enough. <laughs> Don't you just love it when that happens? We've had like 50 encounters here. God's sake. So, how do we do this now? Yeah. I remember discovering that mechanic. Maybe it was Fire Fantasy 4 or something the first time I came across it. I was like, holy shit, that's so cool. I just didn't get it at first. I, I didn't know like, it could do that. <sighs> not bad. It's something, obviously, his stat is pretty low. So he's not going to get the most damage out of it. But these ghosts do a lot of damage. Look at that. Even on uh, Auron, that's significant. Damn, that's the hardest we've been hit for a while. Even Oren with his excellent um, armor and defense. He got hurt pretty bad there. Uh, let's do this place. Yeah. It's preemptive, so I think we can just go for it. I think I might do another Thundarga here to speed it up. Nice. Yeah, we've been getting some nice stuff, man. I, I can't complain. The cast fire when used. Wait, any chance? So we can use a Fyra without using MP. Again, that's big. So... And now... Yeah. So this is MP free damage. Love it. Go. Yeah, it's such a nice addition, man. I love that. 